Hi everyone, it's Miss Doucette here to give you a brief tutorial on how to sign in to Google and get to your Google Classroom. The first thing you're going to need to do is, of course, open the internet. And if you remember that rainbow circle we always talked about, you're going to click that and open Google. If you need help with that, ask a parent. If you don't have Google, you'll just need to ask a parent or an adult to download that for you. Give you a couple of seconds to get there, just like in class. So the next thing that you will need to do is sign in to Google. Now I am going to go to the actual google.com webpage so that it will look more similar to what you will have. You should see the blue rectangle probably says sign in for you. You're going to click sign in and then you will get a box here that is telling you to sign in using your Google account. This is where you will put in your S number and all of that long email address. So um, whatever your S number is, I'm just gonna put a fake one here. And then after you put in your S number, you will put in the at sign. And remember that is pressing and holding the shift key and the number two. And then you will type in online, O-N-L-I-N-E dot, and that's our period, Houston, ISD dot o r g. So I'm going to leave this here for a moment. Make sure that you can uh, have a chance to look at it. So just remember here you will be putting in your own S number. Now while you do that I am going to sign into mine because I signed out so that I could show you what to do. After you get in your email address, you want to click Next. You may get this window as well at home. And this is what allows us to sign into everything that we use at school using just our our student ID and your password. So for you all, if you haven't done it already, let me get rid of mine, you will be putting in student slash S and then your S number, whatever that number is, and then here you will put in your password. So while you're doing that, I am going to sign back in to mine. After you have that done, you'll click sign in. This should look very familiar to you here. It's going to ask you to verify that it's you. Double check here. Click continue. And at this point, you should see for my older kids, you've put in probably some sort of snazzy little picture. Um, and if you did not, you should see your initials right here. Okay, you'll see the waffle. And at this point, if you click on classroom, the waffle, and then go to classroom. You're going to see all of my classrooms and that is okay, but remember you're probably just going to have one or two. 
um, depending on if your teacher was using it or not. And what you will do is click on your class and since I'm not the only one using this for us, all of the magnet teachers will be using this. If you click here on classwork, you will see everything divided into sections. So it will make it a lot easier for you when you go virtually to your magnet classes. And that way everything on the stream view is not just a big jumbled collection of everything that the teachers, me and Ms. Catois and Mr. Quinton and Ms. Adams have posted, okay? Also know that whenever you are working on an assignment, there will be a space where you can actually make comments to your teacher and we will get those comments. So if you have questions, you can email or you can use the comment box in Google Classroom on your particular assignment, okay? So make sure that you check in with us every now and then and make sure that you check the schedule for office hours so that you can at least check in and say hello. And if you have any questions too, you can ask at that time. So I think that is it. Uh, one other thing. So you see my bookmark bar here. And in the classes when we were at school, we set this up with all of yours so that everything would be synced. Um, I see that it did not ask me those questions uh, about linking my data and yes I'm in, but if it does give you the, the boxes to link your data, you do want to click link data and you do want to click the box that says yes I'm in if those pop up for you. Um, if you want to have your bookmark bar up at the top, if you are on a Mac, you will click Shift Command and B all at the same time. If you are on a PC, you will click Shift Control and B. Alternatively, you can also have your bookmark show up by going to the hot dog. You remember that, those three little dots. And you will go down to bookmarks. And you will see an option that will say show bookmark bar. And that's what you click. It'll say show or hide. Okay? If you have any questions about anything digital, have your parent email me or just contact me through Google Classroom. Um, and I think that's it. Miss you guys and hope everything is well. Have a good day.